Hey everyone, wonderful to connect with you today. Um, I know this is a, a weird week for some of us as we had an extended holiday weekend uh, and uh, it makes our week feel a little different. But um, here we are, it's Wednesday and uh, wonderful to be able to connect with you. Uh, special thanks to Ron who filled in for me this Sunday, this past Sunday, uh, and, and brought uh, a message on uh, this next stage in the Lord's Prayer of give us this day our daily bread. Um, and how, you know, this isn't really, this, this is often a prayer that we don't, uh, uh, or this part, um, we use it differently than the context uh, of, of how it was uh, intended with, you know, us, us Americans, we don't need to ask for our daily bread. Uh, it's, we're really, you know, mostly set. Um, and, uh, but the context of, of this in, in praying for exactly what we need and, um, and Ron just gave us a great example of, of, of even how we use the, and, and pray for the things that we have. And, and I loved his, his illustration of the, of the cornfield, um, and how he kept saying, God, my crops need rain, my crops need rain. And, um, and then he prayed, God, uh, he, he understood God, your crops, these are your crops. Um, and I need you to take care of them. And, and then he ended up having a great, a great harvest. Um, you know, these, even in our American culture, the things we have, you know, as Jesus followers, they aren't ours. And so, uh, I, I, yeah, I appreciate what Ron brought in, in for this message and the way he shared from his heart. And so, um, and we hope you'll join us here this next week as we jump into the next uh, phrase in the Lord's Prayer. Um, and, you know, each stage along the way, uh, we can <laughs> we can pause or we can skip. Right. Um, and, and this next stage is uh, is another one where uh, it's forgive us our sins or forgive us our debts as we forgive um, those who have sinned or those who have debts against us. And, you know, this is this is uh, an easy one to say, yeah, but, you know, you don't know my story and uh but I, I want to share, um, as Jesus followers, we're, we're called to deal with these things in a different way. And we're called to forgiveness. And, and we'll get more into it on Sunday, um, the, the forgiveness and the justice piece. And, um, and we want justice so bad. But forgiveness is what keeps us, is what keeps our heart uh, centered with God. Uh, justice isn't what keeps us there. So, uh, so come back to learn more about that on Sunday. But uh, I want to read from Ephesians 4, uh, 29 to 32, and then verse uh, chapter 5, verse uh, 1, and, and, uh, 1 and 2 as well. So Ephesians 4, 29, starting there, it says, Do not let any unwholesome talk come out of your mouths, but only what is helpful for building others up according to their needs, that it may benefit those who listen. And do not grieve the Holy Spirit of God with whom you were sealed for the day of redemption. Get rid, verse 31 and 32 here, these are so important for this forgiveness piece. Get rid of all bitterness, rage, anger, brawling, and slander, along with every form of malice. Unforgiveness holds on to these spaces. It doesn't let us move with the heart of Christ at the center of our lives. But then he goes on verse two, and we know this verse, right? Be kind and compassionate to one another, forgiving each other, just as Christ God forgave you. You know, we, we all receive that gift. We did nothing, we did nothing to receive it, but we got it anyway. Jesus extended, God extended forgiveness to us so that we can be saved. Chapter five, when we can forgive people, it leads us into this so that we can do this. Be imitators of God, therefore, as dearly loved children, and live a life of love, just as Christ loved us and gave himself up for us as a fragrant offering and sacrifice to God. You know, forgiveness is, is, is a hard thing. It's hard to let go. 
And forgiveness doesn't just come when, when once we get justice. Forgiveness is full of grace, just like Christ God gave it to us. And so we're going to jump into this, uh, into this more. And I know this is a hard piece, and I know you're like, Jason, you don't know my story. And I don't. Um, but I hope that as we come together as, as, as children of God, that we can be imitators. This is what we studied in 1st, 2nd, and 3rd John. Be imitators. Let your life prove that we are followers of Christ, which calls us to a higher, a higher space. Forgiveness just, just roots us into the love of Christ. And unforgiveness roots us into the space of bitterness and anger. And, and we can't live we can't live a life of Christ that way. So I hope you'll join us as we continue to study this, as we jump into this next, another crucial piece. And this is why, you know, this, this reciting and learning this whole Lord's Prayer is so important. Because it, it just, whether we're just reciting it and they're just words we say, they still impact us as we go throughout our day and, and engage in life. Um, the, this... Lord's Prayer, like we said, you'll see the gospel message through the whole way. And this is another part of it, forgiveness. I hope you join us. You can join us live uh, 9.30 on Sunday morning. Uh, or you can join us anytime online at olivemc.org. Or find us on Facebook, like, and, and follow our, our Facebook page. Hope you all are well. Have a wonderful week. Uh, and be strong in Christ. And let, let his forgiveness move you to forgiveness as well. Take care.